Welcome back to the Afternoon Express Cook Along. Now we're back with all of our incredible chefs ready for our very next dish. Now, Chef Jade, you are taking over now. Head chef <laughs> in the kitchen. What are we making? <laughs> you were playing such amazing music in the beginning before we started. I was like, I'm still feeling the groove a little bit. Uh -huh. you know, that's really difficult to stand still in this kitchen, you know? It's a so party can we do in the this kitchen. Together? Uh -huh. <laughs> together. There's a challenge out there for you guys. When you're cooking this dish, you have to put some kind of groove, some kind of tune that is really up your alley. And then just whatever you want to do, no? Like, I don't care, whatever moves come out, whatever you're going to do, make sure that you've got a utensil because then you look legit. Okay. Yeah, hey. actually in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> but don't quote my dance moves because that's going to land you up Stunning. on fire. So a beautiful fish dish that I've actually kind of freestyled from my dad. When I say freestyle, this is the way that we cook at Food Gems. We said no rules, mm -hmm. which means that you can freestyle, you can work your magic, do whatever you feel like. But remember, remember, you know, you gotta put a lot of love and a lot of fire and a lot of energy into that dish. I got and of you. course it's Valentine, so mm. food is the language of love. And I would like to show you something so that there's lots of time to stare into your love Valentine's eyes or <laughs> spend some time with your friends and a little bit of time in the kitchen with some serious flavor. Also, of course, spice is gonna bring that spice to you. Mm. 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 I'm mm. so <laughs> excited about that. So what <laughs> ingredients then do we need? Mm. I, I like, it's really, Absolutely up to you. We've got a carrier, which is yogurt. It can also be coconut milk. It can be creme fraiche. It can be uh, cream cheese. It can be whatever you feel like that's creamy. But I like yogurt because, of course, there's science behind it. The enzymes are mm. going to start cooking the fish. Kind of going to be like ceviche. Mm. And I'm throwing it out there for anybody who wants to know. <laughs> We're using yogurt mm. because we want to add more flavor to that. And that is spices. Now, I'm a big fan of bori or turmeric. So I'm going to hoist some yogurt in there, just enough to cover this gorgeous fish. This fish is fresh. It's smelling fantastic. Mm. What's yeah. the deal with fresh, with fish? If you know it's ready, you know it's actually it's, it's ready to use. You've got to be able to oh. smell it. You've got to be able to smell it. You don't want it to smell like last year. You want it to smell like <laughs> fish, actually. So I love it. I'm absolutely, I'm a huge fan also of fish from Abelobi because these guys support the small scale fishermen. Yeah. They're all about connecting hook to cook. Mm. So for me, it's fabulous to be able to have a story behind the dish that we're going to cook. Mm. My story is I want to bring a dish that we make at our family a lot because mm. all kudos to my family. It's called fish and chips, but it's a little bit of a hoi freestyle mix okay. up and bring everybody together. Beautiful. So it's going to be yogurt. So these are the chips of your fish and chips, right? Absolutely. I can start boiling you these. Totally. I want, I want a bit of potatoes to go in in cold water, please, chef. Yes, cold Plus, water. You're going to cook from the inside mm. out. And please work your magic. We're going to do some salt in there in the beginning so that it can really penetrate from the beginning. Okay. Now, Stunning. Oh, I like yes, the fact babe. that you're teaching us just new, fresh ways of enjoying our potato. I normally, because I always thought that this is the quickest way of making sure your potatoes are ready quickly, is the water needs to already be boiling. You add the salt in and then you poke the holes in just to make sure that it all works. Look, babes, I'm not going to say no. That is absolutely a fantastic way of doing it as well. Mm. There are so many different styles of cooking and so many things that work for us, right? Mm. I mean, how many ways of potatoes have really worked for you that you're like, <laughs> yeah. that's like my go-to dish? Yeah. This is my go-to because also, I really like smashing potatoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, and I love chips, but I don't want to cut wedges all the time. Mm, yeah. So let me go with these babies. Thanks so much for doing the potatoes. And on our side, you're gonna chef, go? Lulu? You're going you're gonna to work up something super special. A tartar sauce, yay! Yeah. That's gonna be something special <laughs> with the fish to eat and the potatoes. It's really easy, you just put all the ingredients together. You can chop it up finely okay. if you want it to look really gorgeous. You can also do it more chunky. Stunning, so for all of our viewers who have yay. never tried a tartar sauce before, we have our Clover Bliss double cream. We also have our mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. We've got some chilies, we've got some capers, we've got some jalapenos, and of mm. course we've got some tiny little pickles that are also delicious. And also you're going Super. to be chopping up some uh, onion. And you can dial up the heat if you want to add more chili, you can do less chili. Of course, you are the chef, you are the personality, you are the flavor behind the meal. Mm. So really work your magic with that. <laughs> but re also remember, it's about balance, right? You yeah. want to kind of, yeah. you know, feel all the flavors in the tartar sauce, True. especially when it comes to also the marinade. Now, I love the color of turmeric, bori, so I'm going to hoi it in. It's about a teaspoon's worth, but you can also do less if you don't feel for it. Garam masala, cumin powder, coriander, it's abs absolutely up to you. And of course, paprika, because the color Color is so beautiful. Stunning. Oh, it's amazing cloves. I love it. I know. Gorgeous. Thank you. All right, so I'm, I'm just chopping up the herbs that are going to go into our potatoes here. Thank so you. all that's going to happen is we've got some potatoes that are boiling in there, but I've also got some that we've pre-made. So this is what I'm going to be smashing. You right? are so smart. You know, you're not just good looking. You're absolutely <laughs> super Thank you. awesome so in the kitchen. You want me to toss these up with some of the herbs that we have, salt mm. and pepper, and then 
make exactly. the best. Now, there's a little trick that I learned from a chef is hoi your season your, the bottom of your of your tray. Okay. So your sheet pan is you want to work magic in there in the beginning. So you go olive oil, you go herbs, and of course you're gonna layer on your potatoes. But if you can give it a little bit of help by putting on the seasoning and the oil at the bottom, you're already a step ahead. Perfect. Step closer to that magic meal. <laughs> potatoes are doing their thing. There's salt in. It's gonna work its magic for about 10 minutes more or less. Okay. You just want it off. You don't want it to fall apart because yeah. otherwise the smashed potatoes are not gonna be as Oh, look, when they're actually in the pan. Right. <laughs> so, Chef Jade, um, what, what fish do we decide to go for today? <gasps> Snow, because it's on the green list. And, oh, of course, I mean, let me just ask everybody out there, who of you guys don't look like Snook? Yeah. And um, also, if you don't like Snook, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> you're going to love this one. Because also, you don't have to get too involved. Mm. You know, it's not too much where you're going to have to worry about. If you do have uh, smelly hands, fishy hands, mm. there's a little trick. Lemon juice on the fingers or vinegar on the fingers and you're ready to rock and roll. Awesome. So you're good. The scent is gone. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. And I always like to just rub my fish down before the time so that there's no juices, you know, falling around. And also, it also, it helps the, the fish actually crisp up in the oven a little mm. bit better. Mm. So, who of you guys have been to Cold Bay or to Musenberg yes. and you've eaten that fish and chips mm. with yes. the batter on that and that delicious mm -mm, salt and vinegar chips? Oh, it's Love beautiful. It. Mm. Not taking away from that. I'm definitely <laughs> going to do that soon because it's summer. But... <laughs> To do a healthier version, our trick is to just swap it off with yogurt. Mm. So it's still gonna make a nice crush. It's still gonna have that crispiness, that, that creaminess, that mm, mm, mm. Mm. This, It's not battered fish, but it is something alternative and it is something special to try. Okay, so my so. yogurt goes on. Are you guys working your magic? Yeah, yes. the tartar sauce Chopping it like it's hot. Together. Chopping it like it's hot. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> yeah. ah, points to the team, points to the team. I love it. You guys are incredible. I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm not good at multitasking in the kitchen. The only thing I can do Chef, you were speaking, Chef uh, Jade, you were speaking about the snook being on the green list for some of our viewers who might not be familiar with what the green list is and the fact that there are different color grades when it comes to seafood do you want to just tell us a little bit about that a little bit more it's very it's very cool that we have guidance like this from you know from sassy to be able to share with us what do we do need to buy what can we actually and when yeah. once you start getting involved once you start learning more about green list the orange list and the red list you actually get to know what is available yeah. what is ready what is sustainable as well and also not just sustainable but what is regenerative yeah. because we don't we just want to keep on going the way we are we actually want to you know give back so that the next generations are Alex and what's your what's your young one's name Ushoko. oh man you know that they actually want to still yeah. enjoy beautiful fish when they're uh, older so and oh. we know that they are master chefs already we have heard the story <laughs> that, heard that's the story. so beautiful to think that uh, they've made it so easy for us there's an organization that have come Incredible. together and shown us you know what is the best fish or seafood to cook up and to enjoy what's sustainable and what will make sure that the next generation can also enjoy as decadently as we are currently I love that right now we are well underway here creating this delicious dish so Palisa I've started smashing up our potatoes here so we oh, basically amazing. seasoned our tray with that oil and then over here I've got our herbs I've got some salt and pepper and this is the smashing part which is I guess how we get those yes. little ones yes. involved uh, Alex and I yes. you just get them to get the potatoes smash them smash up away. simple keep them busy keep them oh. quiet <laughs> can you imagine what fun it's gonna be to smash those potatoes <laughs> like I can gonna get involved and also for those who want to let it out at the, after a long day at work smashing potatoes is absolutely therapeutic and cooking is therapeutic <laughs> right? therapeutic. that's why we got involved because we absolutely. like having a good time and we want um, to lose potatoes are doing their thing they're absolutely fabulous we know that these guys have cooled down so you know you can do this the day, the day before True. if you're like what oh I, i've got a dress and I look nice for valentine's day actually can prepare a lot of these things before the time mm. so the potatoes can be boiled before the fish can be marinated before as well anything from 20 minutes onwards is absolutely fine remember that's going to cook so you want to then cook the fish for a little bit less time in the oven okay and when i say a little bit less i'll give you some tips at a later stage from knowing how fish is actually ready you know because some fish are better when they are nicely cooked just cooked mm. beautiful and mm. other fish are better when they are more medium rare so well chef jade i'll be Proud to let you know that the tartar sauce is <laughs> done. Success! Done yes. and I just so invited to my next party. Yes. 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 Come over. Yay. So how easy was that, Chef Lulu? Easy. I love it. All the dishes. And my, the colors of the fish are looking fabulous because I've added all my favorite spices in together. I've mixed it up. I'm going to leave it for 20 minutes. So the patatas are going to go into the oven and they're going to crisp up okay. for at least, give them a head start. Give them like 20 to 30 minutes before the time. And remember, ovens have their own personalities as well. I don't yeah. know about you guys. Have you <laughs> baked a cake at someone's house and you're like, oh, 
my oven doesn't uh -huh. do this. <laughs> Mine looks different. So it's the same. Like yeah. us, we also have to get to know our ovens. Okay. So, so, so you have to watch crisp. It's all about the senses. Check these potatoes out. Are they crispy? Are they delicious? 20 minutes later. Then I'm going to add my fish and oh. I'm going to give it another 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. Okay, fantastic. Let's see you put it all yes. together here. Let's Beauty. see you lay that fish quite decadently and quite beautifully so beautiful. in that pan. She is gorgeous, mm -hmm. honey. Almost as gorgeous <laughs> as us <laughs> here in the kitchen with our amazing hats on. Um, I love the fact that you've also made creating fish dishes very easy, very versatile. I mean, we started off with chicken and now here we've got fish. Um, and it just looks like this is almost something anyone can mm. put together. Is that essentially what you guys are going for when you put together your recipe? something that's accessible exactly easy because a lot of people are busy and nowadays people are working from home mm, yeah. you've got kids at home so it's something quick and easy don't, and don't need a lot of time with, in the kitchen with <laughs> chefs in and during lockdown I saw so many incredible chefs create special meals for delivery mm, you know I think yeah. it's fantastic to have a chef's experience at home mm. but when you are the chef in the kitchen you want to be exactly as <laughs> smooth as fast as beautiful as delicious as you possibly can Love and it. all for that you know yeah. We're all about that so into the oven we go okay and then 20 minutes later, we are ready for action. Beautiful. So gorgeous, come and spread the love, spread the love, spread the love. Just like that, you can leave it right there. And voila. Thank you. Chef Dumi, last thoughts, tips, tricks, anything at all? Uh, I think they've said a mouthful already. They've taken all the things I wanted to say. Like, I'm, I'm left uh, <laughs> stranded here, guys. Help me. <laughs> no, no, I'm happy with uh, all the feedback we've been getting. Uh, you guys are doing quite well. Thank you so much. Absolutely yes, thank exciting. You. So, after the break, what can we look forward to? Mm. My absolute favorite. And this is something I actually made when I met uh, now for the first time. It was chocolate fondant. Mm. And l disclaimer yes, I did make a dessert on the show. And that was like the last of me. <laughs> <laughs> but the very first dish that I presented to the judges was chocolate fondant. And the thing is, like, I'm all for making chocolate fondant if you know these few trips, they tricks. They make it look really difficult on cooking shows. I don't know why. But chocolate fondant is all about the magic here and the love in here. And I'm going to show you how to do it okay. in a few trips with a special something inside. <laughs> okay, well, all that excitingness coming up.